Okay, uh, yeah, it's Pop and Peeps, Tech Lotion 77 here today for episode yeah, 2 of... Sp in my bed. You are in your bed, Cameron, now I'm trying to record a video, dude. Well, anyways, I'm here for episode 2 of Spellbound Schoolgirls, and uh, yeah, let's just continue on. Okay. I run my eyes once, twice. Okay, I got it. not... Uh, okay. Turn the volume to nothing so I can't get copyright struck. No matter how many times I do it, the scene remains the same. They're flying? Of course they are. Austin, are you okay? You look pale all of a sudden. It's, bec it's like he's never seen a broom before. So, this is normal to them. That's silly. After all, ah. A group of students playing with their brooms catches Haruna's attention. You guys, take this class seriously. Yeah, you tell them, Haruna. Why am I doing your job? Can't you yell at them? Can't you? Oh, wait, you come yell at them, too. Ah, don't pull me into this. Austin, help. I barely hear her voice as she's dragged away. Too many thoughts clog up my mind. The potion classroom, the broom gym, Kana asking what my attribute was. All these facts swirl in my head and lead me to one conclusion. A school that teaches magic, huh? It sounds stupid, but the facts make it hard to deny. In that case, I can't be here. I glance around to see if anyone is watching me. So basically, broom riding is a very dangerous class, you know. You could fall and hurt yourself, uh, so be more careful, alright? Is that good enough, Haruna? Why are you checking with me? The class is occupied watching her and try to turn I into a proper teacher. No one's looking. All right, now or never. I slip to the back of the room, uh, to the back of the group, and then turn and run. The surroundings blur past me as I sprint through unfamiliar surroundings. Main entrance. The main entrance was here. The outside of the school is much easier to navigate. It doesn't take me long to arrive in, in the front in the front of the elegant school gates. I reach out to the gate and stop, fingers inches away from the metal. A magic school. They wouldn't set some sort of a magic alarm on the entrance, right? Some weird spell that electrocutes people? No, they wouldn't be that extreme, would they? My, re my reason says no, but, my, but hesitation freezes my hand. Is there another way? My eyes wander towards the wall... Why I just wandered towards the wall surrounding the school. I could probably climb it. It'll take long, though. Isn't that what it said? That it will... Yeah, it'll take time, though. Okay. If someone notices I'm gone and they find me, but the gate might have some kind of magic on it, what do I do? <sighs> it never hurts to be careful. All right. It's not that magic scares me, not at all. Encouraging myself as best as I can, I move towards the wall. It's shorter than it looks up close. I feel my confidence grow. Heh, <laughs> easy going. And up we go. I jump. The, un the instant my fingertips touch the wall, there's a flash of light. And when the light fades, I'm on my back. My, arms, my arm tingles slightly. Huh, what? What was that? The moment I sit up, I notice a presence behind me. Austin, what do you think you're doing? The worst person showed up. Something. I need to say something clever here. For reference, what does it look like I'm doing? Is that the best I can do? Well, it looks like you just tried to leave school. I can see how you get that idea. But I wanted to believe that I was just seeing things. You specifically told me you wouldn't cause any trouble, after all. I did say that, didn't I? Yes, that was less than an hour ago, by the way. You want to be shameless enough to go back on your word so quickly, you're right. I stand up, uh, and her glare focuses on me. Especially when it involves the school rules. She's really angry. But aren't but are the rules really that important? Why aren't the rules so important? Huh? Are you seriously asking me that? Think about what type of school this is. A magic one? Exactly. There are plenty of dangers everywhere. It looks pretty safe, though. Because most people follow the rules, unlike a certain delinquent. Um, sorry. 
Well, you aren't the worst case. There's an idiot who set their whole classroom on fire. Huh? My nods gravely. That was a huge headache. I had so much paper I could get out of that. <sighs> no, no, no. Weren't there more important things than that? Did anyone die? Hmm? Oh, no, no. We've been sh we would have shut down if that happened. I guess that's true. Besides, we have plenty of plans for one thing for when things like that happen. It happens that often. Let's not talk about that. Hey, what's important is this: it wouldn't have happened if the culprit followed the rules. Out of curiosity, what rule did this person break? They mix more than three different potions together. Honestly, who doesn't know that's a bad idea? Me, I don't. I had no idea. <clears throat> yeah, what a silly mistake. There are also forbidden areas in the school. Those are their rules, too. Why are they forbidden? Lots of reasons. They're haunted. They're cursed. They keep you trapped forever. Dangerous. Why are those places on school grounds? Because they're excellent for research. That's all the headmaster says. Anyway, that's why the rules are important. They keep everyone, they keep everyone safe. Understand? I'm surprised you... You take the rules so seriously. Of course I do. I'm in charge of the student committee. It, it's my job to keep things running as smoothly as I can. That doesn't get tiring? My shrugs. Not anymore. Wait, not any more tiring than my other job. Plus, I find my own way to, ways to make it fun. That sounds super ominous. I'm glad. That's what I was going for. You'll think twice about causing trouble for me again. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I was correct. I just wanted to make sure. Really, I'm sorry for troubling you. Well, that little shock seems like it was enough as your punishment. So this is what it meant early. So this is what you meant earlier. The rules will keep you nice and safe. Yep, it's the best advice I can give to new students. Hmm, that reminds me. You looked confused when I brought up the rules back then. Did I? Don't tell me you haven't read the rules at all. No, I've read them. What's on page 7? What? Page 7. What's there? Dress code. Dress code? Yeah, dress code. This is amazing. I've never wanted to hit someone so much until now. I'd appreciate, I'll appreciate it if you keep that urge to yourself. I'll try. But that explains everything. It makes sense for... You, it makes... Sorry. But that explains everything. It makes sense you would try and leave the school then. Is that not allowed? More than not allowed, it's impossible. All students have to stay on school property at all times. Huh? We're only allowed to leave once we graduate. Isn't that a bit extreme? It's not strange for board it's not that strange for boarding schools, is it? We just have a stricter way of enforcing that rule. Anyone who tries to leave is bounced like you just were. You're lucky that you didn't land awkwardly and hurt yourself. I don't feel lucky at all. I'm stuck here until I graduate? We should head back. I excused myself, but you just disappeared, right? I's not going to be happy about that. Right. Thanks for explaining things to me, my... Hmm. I can't really be happy with a thank you from such a sour face. Hmm? Touching my face, I'm definitely frowning pretty intensely. I'll talk and talk. The student and committee chairwoman will hear your worries. My lead's the way, but I noticed something is off when we enter the school building. My, isn't this a long way? It is, but we can talk for a bit longer this way, right? So, why did you try to leave school? A difficult question right away. Saying I didn't know this was a magic school would be bad. I obviously need to lie, but what should I say? I guess I was feeling homesick a little. On your first day? I know it sounds suspicious, but I'm not backing down here. Is that strange? Uh, no. I started missing home pretty quickly after I started here, too. I wasn't crazy enough to actually try and escape, though. Reckless, aren't you? I can't deny that. One sec, gonna try to crack my neck. Okay. Ah, uh, got it, finally. I've calmed down now, though. I probably won't be trying that anytime soon. Well, don't feel down to. It's hard not to when I'm essentially trapped. Hmm, that's one way to look at it. What's another way? 
one of three guys in a school, and you're one of three guys in a formal in a former all goal. You're one of three guys in a former all girls school. The romantic possibilities. Okay, stop, stop right there. Why does everyone think I'm that easy to please? Do I look that simple? Hmm. The other two were really happy when I pointed that out, though. Those guys fell already. Huh. I don't know them, so I don't care. But they're making me look bad too. Well, here's my serious a bit of advice. So you weren't being serious until now. It isn't the deal that we're locked up here until we graduate. But you know what? Most people still have a lot of fun here. It's not because the school itself is a fun place. <clears throat> no one anywhere likes tests and assignments. The theory lectures here are especially boring. People have fun here because they find a way to have fun. Just like in any other school, they join clubs, they make friends. It would suck to be sulking for years until you graduate, right? Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Then all you need to do is find the fun in being here. Make the most of this. That's exactly some. That's actually some solid advice. Of course, helping students with their problems is one of my 600 special skills. I love you too, Cameron. Does the student committee chairwoman need that many? Uh, most of them have nothing to do with my work, so they're kind of a burden. I really can't tell if you're mature or not. Really? I think I'm quite the adult, you know. So you can trust me when I say this. She uh, treats me. She treats me to a dazzling smile, and to the one different to the one she's shown before. Hang in there. Things aren't as bad as you think. For a moment, I casually avoid meeting her eyes. That was close. I almost fell for her there. Her words still loop in my mind, though. Right. Nothing will come out of me being depressed. In that case, yeah. Let's give it all. Uh, let's give it all I've got. There are bound to be fun things even here. Thanks, Mai. I really appreciate this. No problem, Austin. Come by the student committee if you ever need to be cheered up again. Despite the detour, it doesn't take long for the gym to come into view. And we're here. They're really swooping around. Gazing up at the students flying around still gives off a, a surreal feeling. Eventually, I'll get used to this. Eventually, wait. I guess I'll get used to this eventually. I'm stupid. Looks fun, doesn't it? Well, actually... Austin, get over here. Her shout echoes through the sports field as she glares at me. Right, I did skip her class. Of course she'd be mad. I'll send him over in a bit. I, I have some business with him. Hurry it up. That should buy you a few seconds. Honestly, I forgot about her. Don't say that to her face. Just go over and apologize. I is a bit unreliable sometimes, but she's great to have on your side. Guessing I shouldn't mention that I tried to escape then. She'll kill you, so no. Don't tell her that part. Think you can make something up? If my life's on the line, I'll make a plan. That's the spirit. Good luck. Stay alive. She pats my back lightly and strolls away with a wave. I gather up my I gather up my courage and approach my teacher. So, any excuses before your execution? Why is it already accepted that I'm going to die? I don't see what you could say to change my mind. Well, the truth is... It has to be some kind of sickness. I need sympathy here. Big enough to make me leave class, but small enough to not be an emergency. I have two options. I couldn't help it. I had a stomach ache. Huh? Truth is, I look fine now because I've calmed down, but I'm really weak to stress. A new environment, new people, lots of expectations. It's a miracle I'm even standing here right now. You expect me to believe. On top of that, I didn't get much advice from my homeroom teacher this morning. Hmm? Now there's a... Now let's score even more sympathy points. The class introduction caused a weird reaction, you know? People asking me if I'm going to backflip now. N no, I gave you solid tips on how to... Just solve it with guts isn't solid. Ugh. She looks me up and down and skeptically... Uh... She looks, wait, she looks me up and down skeptically, then sighs. Fine, drink some soda later to settle your stomach. Will do. Thanks for looking after me, I. I feel like we've lost somehow, but... I feel like I've lost somehow, but whatever. She looks around, spots Kana, and waves over to her. Yes, I, um, did I do something wrong? No, you know Austin, right? Turns out he isn't in the best condition. Do you mind watching him and letting me know if anything happens? Oh, if it's just that, then I don't mind. Wow. What? 
nothing. It's just, you're almost like a real teacher. Should I hit you? No, let me hit you. I won't be satisfied otherwise. Violence is bad, I. What if I become a delinquent because this? You were cuter when you were nervous. That's rude. Kana, I leave him to you. I've got a lecture to give. She stomps away and tells everyone to get off their brooms. I glance at Kana. I thought this was a practical class. Do you normally get a lecture in this? Uh, uh, do we normally get a lecture in this situation? Okay, yeah. Usually, yeah. We have some theory in between actually practicing things. The theory is actually the best part, in my opinion. I is, well, she's like that, but she's actually very good at what she does. I's lecture starts, and it becomes clear that Kana wasn't lying. That's a huge change. Her expectations are easy to understand, and she keeps a good pace with her class. I nod. Even with my non-existent magic knowledge, I sort of understand how broom writing works now. She really is a great teacher. So, she can do it if she tries. I've changed my impression of you, I. Okay. Um. I'm so absorbed in the lecture that I'm late in noticing Kana staring at me. Oh, you don't have to mind what I said. I'm fully recovered now. But, you disappeared earlier, right? If you suddenly get sick again... Sorry, it's none of my business, but I just... I'd like to help if I can. What is this adorable creature? N no, how do I handle this? Gotta take a picture, a screenshot. It would be easy to shut her down and insist that I'm fine. She'd probably be hurt, though. I could just say that I was actually just nervous, maybe. It's kind of the truth. What should I do? Really, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Kana stares at me for a little bit, clearly not convinced. Okay, if you say so. Why do I feel like I've kicked a puppy? Thanks for worrying, though, Kana. You're a really nice person. Eh? Um, no. I'm just... I asked me to, so... You could have said no, or just agreed then left me alone. That would be wrong, though. Heh. And that's why you're a nice person. You know, I finally found you. Our hard-working class committee chairwoman slips through a group of students and arrives near us. Hmm? You're looking for me? Hi, Haruna. Don't worry, this isn't going to become the new Poppy. Poppy is irreplaceable. Ah, Kana. I thought you would be up front. I was, but I said I should keep an eye on Austin. He wasn't feeling well. Haruna looks at me. So that's why you left for a while? Basically, wait, why were you looking for me? I was planning to carefully explain to you why you shouldn't be skipping class, but it doesn't seem necessary after all. Good for you. I dodged a bullet. I narrowly avoided death just now. Eventually, I's lecture ends and we're told to get a broom. Alright everyone, line up. We're going to have you take flight one by one. Why does she want to do it one by one? Can't we all fly off together? I want to make sure everyone knows how to lift off properly. Haruna nods. The perfect liftoff means your magic control is good. Kana here is a, Kana here is a great example, so watch her carefully. Will do. No, it's embarrassing if you do. I'm not that good. One by one, the students lift off into the sky. Immediately after, I give her impression of the students lift off, but I'm not listen, listening. The sight of everyone circling above me keeps distracting me. I was a little freaked out by it at first, but it looks cool. Magic really is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I can't deny that. Despite my fear, I can't help but have some interest in it after all. Alright, Austin, your turn. I nod awkwardly as I straddle my broom. Yep, magic or not, this is embarrassing. Good luck, Austin. I know you mean well, Kana, but that just added more, some pressure. Don't be nervous, this is really easy. Even the most talentless of magic users can at least hover a little. Why are you emphasizing that when it's my turn? Aren't you pick are you picking on me? I wouldn't dream of it. Now take off. Whatever, let's just go. I grab the broom and nothing happens. Hmm. Am I not doing it right? Well, actually, what is the right way to do this? It suddenly dawns on me that I have no idea how to use a broom. After a few awkward moments, I tilt her head in surprise. Austin, don't tell me you can't ride a broom. 
anyways, guys, that was episode two of Spellbound School Girls. I hope you enjoyed. This has been Typhlosion77, and I am out of the house. Bye. We got out.